This past week on Gridiron Game Plans, we added a brand new offensive game plan out of the New York Giants playbook. However, if you guys like to run the bunch offset out of the Carolina, which is one of the most popular meta formations in Madden 22, you will definitely want to take a look at this particular game plan because it is the easiest thing that I've ever seen to digest, and it is one of the hardest things that I've had to defend this year. Let's go ahead and get into it. What is up guys, Zane from Zane Madden YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the gun tight Y off and normal Y off close game plan that I broke down on gridirongameplans.gg. Now I wanna give a big shout out to Shift God Cole. If you guys don't know who Cole is, he is one of the more original Madden underground tournament players. Doesn't get enough love for the way that he thinks about the game in the tournament community, at least in my opinion. Uh, he is a very, very respected player amongst his peers, but doesn't get a lot of the attention uh, in terms of uh, competitive Madden fans that know a lot of the more key names. And we actually brought him on to Gridiron Game Plans uh, just this past week to share his tight Y off and normal Y off close offense. In this offense, I actually matched up against him in the MCS Ultimate Thanksgiving ladders a few weeks back. And when I played him, and I tend to fashion myself a pretty knowledgeable uh, defensive player, I really had no answer for this offense. So I hit him up afterwards. I said, hey, you want to come bring your offense onto the website? He said, let's do it. And we've got his New York Giants offense. Now, as I mentioned in the intro to this video, if you guys run the Carolina Panthers offense, they have one of the best bunches in Madden. So uh, if you go ahead and take a look here in the Carolina playbook, they have that double post, PA dig fork, uh, smash return, flood, curl flat, uh, they have a little bit of everything, obviously. So this is one of the more popular uh, bunches in the game. Uh, if you guys aren't running Seattle or Washington, chances are you're in Carolina for their bunch. And the really cool thing about Cole's game plan is that it has the entirety of this particular formation, the gun tight Y off and the normal Y off close. Every single play that he breaks down in the game plan on Gridiron is found in the Carolina playbook as well. And it's the same personnel grouping, meaning that you can audible in and out of the Carolina Bunch, which is also on Gridiron Game Plans with this particular scheme as well. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about the play known as Flood Drive. This is actually Cole's base play that he breaks the huddle in, and we're gonna break this down against a variety of different coverages. So Flood Drive, and the really cool thing about this offense is that you don't have to remember to flip it a specific way. He runs this with his twins to the left side of the field and his tight end to the right side of the field. So uh, basically the learning curve for this offense is very, very low, but don't confuse that with meaning that it's a very, very easy to defend offense because this thing floods zone, it kills match, and you really can't run man to man against it. So let's go ahead and break it down against the Mike Blitz three. So we're gonna go ahead and start off here uh, by breaking down how he tends to attack the 335 wide meta. So with this particular play, he sets up a simple zone beater to the left and a match slash man slash zone beater to the right. So with this particular play, what he likes to do is either run a simple curl flat combo with X and Y. You could also flip this and have Y on the curl and X on the flat if you wish as well. Uh, and this really puts the user in a bind. Uh, if you kind of imagine here the 335 odd or 335 wide meta, rather that is known as your double Mabel meta. So if they're playing those five yard uh, purples and the 25 yard blues, which obviously we can't do here in practice mode, but if they're doing that, then uh, you're gonna have this curl that's gonna be there all day long. And the thing about this is with the middle linebacker as the user, in the nickel 335 wide, you basically have two choices. You can go guard the curl and give up the post, or you can go guard the post and give up the curl. So you kind of read this middle linebacker off the snap and you see if he flows over to the right, you're gonna throw the curl to the left. And that's gonna be a simple gain of about 10 to 12 yards for you. Um, if, they if they decide in their nickel 335 wide to play over on the other side, meaning go play the curl like you see here uh, with a hook curl to the left to mimic what the user might do, we are then going to throw our post to the right. So this is a very, very simple play that he'll call and he'll just read the user and say, okay, let's go ahead and throw this post. And then he makes his possession catch. Now this post is really, really spicy. Again, this is just his base play that he runs, but this post is really, really good. If you guys are enjoying this free YouTube content, I would strongly urge you to go over to my strategy website. GridironGamePlans.gg is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden. Every week in our Vault Update, we take a look at the meta or the most effective tactics available being used by pro players on the MCS circuit. 
breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active and access to our Discord server where every single Wednesday, we have a live lab session covering the week's vault content and any questions you guys have about Madden. So make sure you guys head over to gridirongameplans.gg. $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website. Um, if you want, you can throw this post on the cut. You see that it's going to be a gain of about 15 to 17 yards, maybe 20. Uh, you see right here that we're basically spotted on the 40-yard line, and we throw this and make the diving animation to the opposite 38. Uh, give or take so it's a gain of about 22 yards over the middle and the thing is you don't need a streak to pull the middle defender um you see that the, the the post defender on this play in the middle third number 43 doesn't react to this throw now what a lot of players will do in their defense is they're going to end up going and putting their safeties lower in the box and this is to kind of take away some of those seam reads so if you see them kind of creep those safeties down um what cole will then do oftentimes with this play is he will go ahead and just streak y and then he will go ahead and run this with a drag from the from the backside. and again you've got a flood combination to the right with the out route and the table route and then your backside shallow cross one thing I would recommend on this setup for spacing purposes is essentially to go ahead and motion snap your drag to the outside simply because that's going to allow for um, basically you to um, kind of have him hit the shallow middle of the field a little bit later on uh, over the middle and give you better spacing on the short side of the field. Um, and if you guys want to do something like that, you would be able to audible out into a formation like the gun normal Y off close, which is essentially going to allow you uh, to call play in this particular game plan that has a post to the B receiver or maybe use the hot route master post uh, to kind of run off that coverage. And then you can kind of set up your route combos uh, in, a, in a similar fashion. So, you know, you could set up something that kind of looks like this uh, to, to kind of mimic what you want to do in this play so spacing wise this offense is very very simple you see you can audible from one formation into the other um if you want to you could go ahead and put uh evans on you know anything you want you can put him on uh, a baby hitch you know kind of hold him out there in the the low left side especially if there's no hook curl or there's one user to kind of handle the hooks but the runoff route of that uh that streak is going to be really really crucial so um you're going to be able to kind of hold on to this football and let this post which it, it's a really really good post just kind of eat so you're going to see here how he's going to run why he's going to run off the coverage and you're just going to let b kind of keep running and then throw a low ball throw a low ball as soon as you see that db's back turn on the wide side of the field you throw a low ball and it's going to be able to get all the way down the field for a huge huge chunk of yardage again we're on the 40 so it's 10 yards to midfield and then we're throwing this ball an additional 30 or so yards uh, beyond midfield so this ends up being right here where we catch this ball this ends up being a gain of about 44 yards right here where we catch this and then we can keep running or dive you see it ended up being a gain of 45 and the really cool thing about this is that like i mentioned he runs this offense with his uh, his twins or his uh his receiver the two receiver side to the left side it's not a uh short and wide side where you you know you flip it to keep it a certain way he likes to keep this void of any crazy tells and the really interesting thing about this is that the post even when run to the short side of the field it actually does a really really good job at um still flooding any zone drops that could possibly exist on the field so again 30 is the max that you can set a zone to for a blue zone you see here that again we're, we're able to throw this ball way out there and get those those uh those completion animations obviously ab jumped out of bounds right there um a lot of times jumping out of bounds is actually related to height believe it or not um six foot two and above seems to jump out of bounds far less than 511 you know six foot six one even um, so kind of pay attention to that, your toe tap animations on the sideline. If you have a little bit bigger body receiver, it seems like they tend to hold on to the, the ball on the sideline a little bit better, at least get their feet down. But again, you throw this low ball and you see here that you can make that catch and that ends up being a gain of 40 yards, even on a low ball. So there's really no chance for a, um, for a, a 30 yard zone to get back there and make that play. Now that's against zone, right? So what we're going to be doing here in this situation is now breaking this down against match. So as you guys know, match coverage is very, very popular. I've kind of popularized it on gridiron with my match game plan. That's helping people actually get stops and understand coverage for the first time in Madden 22. So there's a lot of players, myself included, that run match. And when I faced Cole 
in this offense, uh, he absolutely shredded me. He absolutely shredded me. Um, you know, truthfully, I can't believe I won the game. Um, I, I won by mixing in a crazy zone blitz that he wasn't ready for. Um, but, you know, when I played a match, I had no chance against this. And the reason for that is that this play is really, really designed perfectly with its stock setup to absolutely destroy match coverage. So first and foremost, you've got uh, a deep out route to the second receiver. So the first receiver is, you know, B, Antonio Brown, the second receiver numbering outside to inside is Gronkowski. And then you've got this table route. When it comes to match, the table route is always open. Just throw the table route, uh, scamper up field. You see right there, I picked up 12 yards before contact. So um, if they're playing any type of match coverage, you can literally just snap the football. You don't even have to make your hot routes on the left side. Snap it, throw this table route, rack it. Again, you see right here, first contact at nine, nine and a half yards. Very, very simple. If they want to stay in match coverage, uh, maybe they decide that they want to um, play a hard flat, right? Okay, that table route, that's enough. Let's switch our, our quarter flat into a hard flat. Uh, match coverage, the thing about it is the tight end is always open. Tight end is always open on this. You don't have to have an ability, but we do include ability setups for this offense, and he has some interesting route abilities that make this offense even better, but I'm showing this to you without key abilities on this play. Um, so that tight end is always open regardless of what they do with their zones. If they want to leave a quarter flat zone, again, the running back is going to be open, but the tight end will also be open again. So you watch this here. Watch how the tight end cuts open. You can throw this ball there and get that possession catch on the sideline. Obviously, a faster tight end than Gronkowski is going to create separation, but Gronk is there for a body catch nonetheless. Now, last but not least on this against match coverage, uh, you're also looking at Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown's route is really, really good against uh, against match coverage. And you saw right there that it created separation. We just got shed by Cameron Jordan right there, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and slap a double team on him and run this again. And the thing about the curl flat to the other side is it holds the match coverage on the left side down, allowing Antonio Brown to get over the top of this and run away from his man. So you see right here how you can throw this ball against match coverage and it's a one play score. If you have a route ability, if you have better speed at this spot, it's always gonna be a one play touchdown for you. So when you kind of think about how this play works, it floods zone for 45 yards to that post. Uh, it, it, it's a short check down against, uh, you know, zone coverage in the left with that curl flat. Uh, match coverage gives up 15 yards to the table route. It gives up 15 yards to the out route. Um, if they want to play, you know, like a, a zone drop style game, you have to kind of uh, understand that I can't do that here in practice mode. Let's say that they are playing like a Mabel style coverage where they've got, you know, the purple set to five. And then let's say that just for the sake of argument that this Gardner Johnson zone is like 30 yards, right? Because most players want to play their blues at 30 yards, especially because they're going to be worried about uh, the route to Antonio Brown. Um, if they're playing their blue zones at 30 yards and their purples at five, it's very, very easy to understand why Gronkowski on a 15 yard out route would be wide open in between the five yard zone and the 30 yard zone on the right sideline. So again, kind of just understanding that this guy right here is going to be standing in this spot on the field. Um, and, and you know, this is a flooding combination. So when you go ahead and snap this ball again, I'm just going to hold Johnson at that 30 yard mark. You know, if you do that, you can understand why this route is going to be open underneath of a 25 or a 30 yard zone. Um, so, you know, this play in terms of being a base play, it's a quick snapper's dream. Really, all you have to do is just go curl flat on the left side or put a streak to flood zone with the post to the, the wide side of the field or the left side of the field, rather. And then everything else is quick snappable. And again, guys, this is just the base play. This is the play that he probably runs least of his game plan. Uh, and again, you can kind of see just in terms of how this is, this is a progression based offense. It is a one, two, three, you know, it doesn't matter man or zone. He knows things are going to be open. He knows all his routes are basically equipped to beat every zone in the game. And if they're individually manned up, he has the right abilities in the right spots to make sure that they beat the man coverage individually. There's uh, match beaters, coverage bombs, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff that you guys can do. Blitz beaters. It's an insane offense. It's really, truly an insane offense. It's off meta. Definitely go check it out. I want to say thank you to Cole for uh, contributing this tip to the site. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop those below. We'll see you guys with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.